Hi, I'm Jess Squire and I'm a professor in the physics department at the Colorado School of Mines and my uh, research is femtosecond optical physics. These are the shortest events that mankind can create right now. When you cut with a femtosecond laser, the cuts become extremely precise. And in fact, you can cut inside of transparent material. And it turns out this has profound implications uh, for things like eye surgery. In fact, you probably cannot go to an eye doctor today that uses a laser that doesn't employ some kind of femtosecond uh, laser to make these types of cuts. So another really interesting application that we're using these lasers for is a little laboratory on a chip. So we want to make a health diagnostic, for example, uh, that will analyze your blood and, uh, and tell you whether you're healthy or not. So this is a camera that takes 10 million pictures a second. My name is Lawrence Winkie. Uh, my area of research is astroparticle physics. I'm interested in the highest energy particles in the universe. These are particles that have the equivalent energy of, uh, that a, uh, a bowling ball would have if you were to drop it onto your foot, except that the energy is all in one nuclei or proton. We're out in uh, southeast Colorado, and we're on a uh, research site. Uh, what I'm sitting on here is a, uh, is a simplified optic, uh, cosmic ray detector that measures the uh, light produced by cosmic rays when they interact in the atmosphere. These cosmic rays at this high energy are very rare. In, uh, in one square mile, the flux is something like one every century. My name is uh, Fred Sarazen. I'm an associate professor in the physics department. Well, we're in Lamar, Colorado, uh, a little south of Lamar. What you see at the back here is a tank, a surface detector of a research and development array. But this is kind of a micro array compared to uh, what we have in Argentina. The objective of the PRG Observatory is to measure all those uh, ultra high the properties of those ultra high energy cosmic rays. And uh, in those detectors over there, they are measuring some of the particles that have been produced by those ultra high energy cosmic rays when they start interacting with the upper atmosphere. There is about 12 tons of uh, ultra pure water and there is a detector at the very top uh, that is measuring the light that is produced by particles as they interact with the water. They are slowing down in the water producing what is called Sharenkov radiation and then all the, 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 the light that is being produced is converted by what is called a photomultiplier tube from uh, light to electrons and basically it says hey seen something. It's basic research. Everything we know about the universe is, uh, is determined by looking at photons. So radio, optical telescopes, um, all the way up to gamma ray telescopes. Um, so this is really a chance to look at the universe in a new way. We don't know what is producing those ultra high energy particles. There is somewhere an astrophysical site that is producing all those uh, ultra high energy particles. And so by trying to find out where those particles come from, we're trying to figure out what are those astrophysical sites? What, how do they accelerate those particles at such a high energy? Hi, I'm Tom Furtock. I'm the department head. It's a great department, a great faculty, and of course, terrific students. Our program is so unique, and, and students recognize that, and so they're coming to mines to study in physics. Department of Physics at the Colorado School of Mines grants graduate degrees in applied physics at both the master's and the PhD levels. Some of these students are in interdisciplinary programs. We cooperate with other departments on the campus to grant graduate degrees in both nuclear engineering and in material science. Most of our research is funded by external grants and the funding level in the last several years has been between seven and eight million dollars per year. We have internationally recognized research interests in these areas, renewable energy physics, nanoscale physics, electromagnetics and plasmonics, nuclear physics, astroparticle physics, theoretical and computational physics, ultrafast optics, and biophotonics.